Hey YouTube, hey Young and the Restless fans, Ian Ward is back and Jordan too. OMG, November Sweeps is definitely delivering the surprises, the shockers, the twists and turns. So let's get into it. So we saw today what happened at Abby and Devon's wedding. Everything's going well and then there was a crashing sound. Nick gets up, he knows something is wrong, he goes out to check on it, he meets with Chance, and of course Phyllis has been in an accident. And of course Chance and, and Nick, they work to get Phyllis out of the car. So we know there was an accident, we saw that, and Phyllis went off the road and hit a tree, and apparently someone had veered into Phyllis's lane. Oh no, looks like foul play. Someone was texting Phyllis too from Sharon's phone. But Sharon didn't have her phone with her. She was looking for it, it was missing. So someone else must have had Sharon's phone. Someone seemed to want to get Phyllis maybe on the road to supposedly drive to meet with Sharon, but it looks like this was a setup and someone was trying to cause an accident. So Sharon would later find her phone at home, but she didn't remember putting it there. Sharon's also been passing out lately too, so is Sharon just not remembering that she left her phone there or did somebody else take it and then put it back there at Sharon's place? Anyway, Phyllis is unconscious and she's being rushed to the hospital. But this is looking like someone is out there intentionally doing this to both Phyllis and Sharon, which opens up a whole Pandora's box of possibilities when it comes to what happened to Heather too. But now we know who's been working behind the scenes this whole time, right? We know that it's going to be some big shockers here. So we saw a mysterious woman walk into a motel room and it's revealed that she's Jordan. Aunt Jordan is back and there's a man in the room. Jordan tells him it's done exactly according to plan. Then the man turns around and it's Ian Ward and he says how wonderful. So Ian Ward is back. Ray Wise returns to reprise his villainous role as the diabolical Ian Ward. This is great. We haven't seen Ian in a long time, so this will be a lot of fun. And the last time we saw Ian, he was causing plenty of chaos for the Newmans and for Phyllis too. And it was Victor and Phyllis who ended up taking Ian down as well. So Ian has been locked away for a long time now, but it looks like he and Jordan escaped from prison and now they're both in cahoots. The big question is, what is their plan? And how does this all tie in to what happened to Heather? There's a lot we're going to learn, but this is an exciting development. This could shed light too on who the actual culprit is, the person responsible for Heather's death. We still don't really know, but it's easy to imagine Jordan doing something like that and Ian Ward giving the orders, right? Or maybe they have Sharon under some sort of hypnosis or mind control, we'll have to see. But maybe their plan is to cause as much chaos as they can for the Newmans and maybe also for Phyllis. Maybe this is too about Ian wanting to get revenge on Phyllis too. Having Daniel framed for Heather's death would certainly hurt Phyllis and now this. Of course, we're going to learn the specifics of their plan very soon, so that's going to be intriguing to see, especially how this ties in with Heather and Daniel. This could all be part of a very elaborate and twisted plan on Ian Ward's part. Jordan and Ian have now teamed up two very formidable villains. And in the preview for next week, we see Jordan telling Ian, so time to pop the champagne. So they're going to be celebrating, reveling in the damage they've caused. Ian Ward and Jordan have teamed up now, the ultimate villains. So expect plenty more shockers on the way. Stay tuned as November continues to heat up. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Keep it right here for more updates. Thank you for subscribing and for liking. It means so much to me. So thank you, love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.